Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. You know I'm your host, Seishu, but sitting in front of me right now is Paul Jarvis, who essentially makes things for people who make things. And I said, let's talk. Let's talk because he's such a creative guy. I mean, really, uh, in the last six months, if I can remember correctly, he's he's been on a tear, launching products left and right, and not just to launch products. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who are just pitching products just constantly. And Paul is, in my opinion, one of the first people whose newsletters I read from top to bottom every single time because it's so full of great information for creative people, essentially for photographers like you and me. So Paul Jarvis, who is Canadian and has a, a set of rats somewhere in his in his studio, um, I do. They're, they're sitting back there. There they are. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, my friend. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Uh, I know this is a long-winded introduction to you, but you know, one of the things I love about you is your energy and the, the sheer honesty that you bring to the creative spirit in every one of us. Um, that's, well, that's, that's a really off the cuff and it hasn't been even like rehearsed. I mean, I just Thank thought you. of it. Um, I'm excited because you have a new course that I immediately jumped on and signed up to buy because uh, it's something that I've started to do a lot of, and that's email marketing. And one of the things I I really suffer from is I don't know the ins and outs of MailChimp, which is my preferred platform for email marketing. And here you are, uh, you've just launched, or you're about to launch, Mail up. Uh, well, it's called Chimp Essentials, yes. and it's coming out on the twenty eighth, I believe, right? Yes, uh, that's of, right. Of February. February. And I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, what is it that you thought would be like the best thing for all of us to to learn, and why? Why now is the best time f for us to jump in and learn from you? Yeah. So I think the reason that I wanted to make it and that I wanted to make it right now and launch it basically as soon as possible, because I think I had the idea in November and then I started building it in December. Then I finished it in January. Then I've been beta testing it and getting it ready in February. So it's just when I think about it, the reason why I have been able to build an audience, why I've been able to shift from client work to product work, why I've been able to support my life and my family is all because of my newsletter. Like it sounds silly, but everything that I've done in my life in the last couple of years has for my business has been a direct result of my newsletter driving all of my revenue, building my audience, doing everything for me. So I was I thought, well, <laughs> how can, how can I show people this? And I didn't want to make a course that was like, here's how you can make 1 billion dollars with a mailing list. It's like, no, <laughs> I just want to show people yeah. how to use their mailing list right. because then they can take that information and they can make their business work. There's no promises of like yes. money fights on yachts or or things like that <laughs> or buying all of your pet rats their own individual yacht. It's just here's how you do things like Right. automation and sequencing and segmenting and all of that right. just the the tools that creatives need right. to make their business run smoothly using newsletter software okay well it sounds simple enough uh and you've take you take people through module after module after module i mean this is mm -hmm. a course uh it's not so much of a, a product as much as a course uh, yeah and it takes probably four weeks, maybe six weeks to go through, right? Uh, uh, if it's you, probably if you about, it. it depends. It depends. Because there's probably, I think there's, I counted it out. I think there's about three and a half hours of uh, video lessons. Right. So you could blaze through it in a day. And most of the time, <laughs> with the other courses that I've made, most people blaze through all of the content right away. And then they go back over the coming weeks like, okay, well, I just want to do this one thing. So I'm going to watch this video once or twice. All right. And now I want to do this. So I'll watch this specific video. So I find that that's how most people consume my courses awesome. is they just blaze through it start to finish in like half a day. And then they go back and work on the individual things piece by piece. Well, it sort of reminds me of, again, of your own newsletter that you send out. Um, and it's, as I, as I said in my introduction, it's one of those newsletters one of the top three probably that I simply have to read top to bottom all the way through. And I think the, it's it's either the, the way you've structured it, whether the language or the tone that you take in your newsletter, something about it that just simply goes, oh yeah, keep reading, keep reading. You know, is that something that you teach in this course? 
No, there's no content. Like basically the it's way that content, I write, it's not a copyright no, it's not course. A content. It's just technical. Okay. So, but I have like I have other courses on that, and really the long and short of it is just to like find your voice as a writer, which is hard. You can't just like, oh look, there it is. It's right there. There's my voice. But the only <laughs> way to it find comes your from practice, right? Yeah, it comes from practice. The only way to find your voice is practice. You don't need to buy a course on that. You can just you there. I have courses on like branding and that, but really finding your voice is about writing all the time or making videos or however you make content doing photo you even have a voice in photography right like the way that i shoot so different than the way other people shoot like if i go on photo walks with people we have almost totally different photos even though we're taking pictures of the same thing it's just like with writing you you find your voice and you find what makes your voice unique because people don't read my newsletter because of the topics that i write about they read about it because of the point of view that i have right so having that point of view in anything you do, photography, writing, videos, whatever, is more important than the topic. So I think why a lot of people, and I hear that a lot, that's probably my favorite comment, is that yours is the only newsletter that I read like start to finish. And that makes me happy because I put so much work into it. But then on the flip side, as a business transaction, my newsletter makes me 12,000% return. So for every dollar I spend, I make $120 back. What? That's yeah, crazy. It's ridiculous. But I put so <laughs> like it is a ton of work. Like I when I'm writing it, I'm 100 percent consistent. That means I never miss a Sunday no matter what. Every single Sunday, there is a newsletter sent out to my mailing list. That consistency is another piece of it where people th- think like, OK, well, Paul spends all of this work. I have like copy editors and editors that go through all the writing. Like I put a lot of work into it. Because I see that it gives me such a return. And not only the money return, but it just, I like interacting with people. Like social media, I miss tweets. I'm not on Facebook or LinkedIn or anything, just really Twitter. So, like, I miss things on social. I also don't care about social. But, like, when I send out a newsletter and somebody replies, I'm 100% going to read it. And if there's a question, I'm going to answer it. Because I feel like if that person is giving me the permission to show up in their inbox, then I'm going to treat that as... As, as a as a valid connection well that's fantastic and and one of the things uh, I'm gonna echo from what you just said is every single time you've sent something out and I've I've responded back your response uh, time is ridiculous like you're on top of it yeah because you know? I carve out time on Sunday mornings to reply because I usually get anywhere from 200 to five or six hundred replies oh my goodness wow. so I see yeah, I spend a few hours on Sundays after the email goes out right. and just reply to people. I like doing it. So it's, <laughs> it doesn't even feel like work. It right. feels like I'm connecting with an audience that is paying attention to me. So these are the people that I need to be connecting with. These are the people that I need to be learning from. Right. So, it, yeah, uh, let's let's return back to uh, Chimp Essentials. I mean, it's a course, uh, as we've talked about, that you can blaze through in three and a half hours or you can take three and a half weeks or whatever. Um w- from your own experience, you've seen a huge return on the investment in terms of email marketing. Every Sunday, you have an email that goes out. Everyone's happy. Uh, you respond back. Uh, you have a connection. You make a connection with people. And uh, that endears them, I guess, to you. From a photographer's perspective, if my audience feels like, okay, all I have are really photographs to share with my 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 clients or my email subscribers, and I don't have the skill or the time to pen two, three hundred words, what would you tell people about email marketing that will convince them to say, you know what, no, you got to really make the time? Because that's the thing. You, you put in a lot of effort, but that effort equals time. I mean, I was going to ask you, Typically, how long do, do you spend putting an email newsletter out every Sunday? I mean, from five start to, to five to seven hours, five to seven hours. OK, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be like days. Nope. It's okay. five to seven hours a week. I have it down to and I wrote there's an article somewhere on the Internet. If you just Google Paul Jarvis seven day content cycle. I don't remember where it is. It's I'll somewhere. It. It's either on yeah. it's either on HuffPo or Medium or something like that. But I kind of lay out exactly what I do for every step. And some people, I, it's funny because I see a relation between people who say I don't have time to talk to my audience, and those same people say, "Oh, I'm not making. How can I make more money with my business?" 
And it's like, they don't see the connection. I see the oh, connection. There's a disconnect, with, obviously. Yes, because I see, like, if I spend a day a week connecting with my mailing list, I'm going to make enough money for that month by spending four days a week, four days a month working on my mailing list. Then I, I know that that's going to generate enough revenue for me for the entire month. And four days of work, that's that's not bad. That's not <laughs> that bad frees me up. To, that frees me up for the other four days a week or the other sixteen days a month of of work days to to make stuff or to like come up with new ideas or to make my products better or to make new products that kind of thing. So and it's not every email isn't a pitch either. It's mostly it's like right. ninety ten. So most of the ninety percent of the time I'm just writing articles that I want to write that people want to read and then 10% of the time I'm like hey all I have this new product if you want to buy it here it is like there's no I don't really need to pitch it's just that all I need to do is say like it's available because people hear from me consistently every Sunday they know who I am because I show up in a place that they spend their time so yeah if people say they don't have time then they don't have time to like work on their business like you need to work on your business and if every picture is worth a thousand words I'm sure people could come up with like 200 words (laughs) <laughs> for every photo that they take or the best photos that they take. Right. So Absolutely. it's just, it's prioritization. And yeah. I know that my newsletter drives my business and it's an, it's a ven it's an avenue that I like to connect with my audience on. So I, why not spend lots of time on it? Cause it's awesome. It's right. fun. One of the things I've done in the past, and perhaps you can tell me and us uh, whether this is really a good strategy is that, um, I know a lot of other photographers do this at one time or the other is that they would they'll blog something on their own website and then they'll take an excerpt of that blog and sort of push it through the newsletter and say come check the rest of it out here on my website is that something you'd recommend I would recommend testing it the good thing about MailChimp is that you can a b test everything so I would run like four or five newsletters of one test like the a variant has the full article in it you don't have to click anything you don't have to do anything the b variant is click here to read more the other thing i would think about is how does it benefit your business if a subscriber clicks back to your website for me there's no benefit like if they're already on my list i have a website because i want people to get on my mailing list if they're on my mailing list i don't care if they ever go to my site again it doesn't matter I want when I have a product, I want them to go to the product website. But if my subscribers never go to my website, it it makes no difference to my business. So that's one thing to think about. The other thing is A B testing. See how your engagement increases or decreases by linking out to the full article or just having the full article in it. When I've tested this for myself, and this is just me, and I'm not a photographer. People like my newsletter because they don't have to. They don't have to be taken to a second location. They, if they want to read the article, it's in their email. They can be sitting on a bus, like reading their email, and get the whole thing. Yeah. So, and that's just from ta- I, I did a few months of testing on that, and it just it was like night and day in terms of engagement that people liked it better as a full full article. Yeah, I, I think it would make it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it eliminates the double click and yeah. and you you really simplify the experience for somebody to go from here is the entire article check it out and that's it mm-hmm. you know so that's a good I mean point. the that's caveat point. would be if you're showcasing like a gallery of photos then you can't really add in all those photos into one email right so it, it so like I said it depends on the business it depends on the strategy and it depends on the test that you're on Okay. So I'm a big fan. That's why there's a whole section on A-B testing. That's what I, I, I was going to say. Yeah, the, the Chimp Essentials <laughs> really talks about that, right? Um, is there, uh, what other uh, features of Chimp Essentials do you believe would help photographers spe- specially? So the first one, you don't even have to pay for the course. You just sign up for the free lessons, verifying and authenticating your domain name. This is like my mission in life for the last couple months. <laughs> Talk to it's, us about it. So Talk. so many people, because you can't send an email without verifying the email in MailChimp. You have to do that. But what most people don't do, and I'm talking, most people, I'm talking about companies with like hundreds of thousands of subscribers don't do this either, is on that same page in the settings, to verify your email domain, you have to add a TXT record and a CNAME record to your domain. There's instructions in my course. There's instructions on MailChimp's knowledge base. I think my video is better because it walks through it step by step. 
But and it's you don't even have to pay for the course. Just sign up for the free lessons. It's on the very first page. And if you authenticate your domain name, then your deliverability will increase. You'll be less likely to put in spam or promotions. And ISPs, especially um, Yahoo, kind of like to block emails that aren't authenticated. And what authenticated means is just that you've proven that you can send email from that domain. So if you add a C name and a TXT record to your domain, then MailChimp and all the ISPs around the world are like, yeah, okay, that person is like, if they can edit their domain name, they have access to use this domain. So if there's like phishing or spoofing that's going on, you're legit. Everybody else who's using your domain, if they are, is not legit. So it just gets delivered a lot better. And images, actually, this is good for photographers, images display automatically if you have a very authenticated domain in Gmail. So kind of useful if you're a photographer. No kidding. Yes. Absolutely. I just I just thought of that while we were talking. Like that actually is useful to your audience. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Um, tell us a little bit more about the the launch date for this uh, course. It's coming up on February 28th. Uh, is it going to be a, a, a launch for a certain period of time and then it shuts off, or are you going to yes. have it forever and ever? It's only available right now, Feb 28th to March 31st, okay. and that's because MailChimp, I want to make sure it's always current. MailChimp changes their interface. They're always changing features. Right now, it is recent up till the latest launch. I'm glad they let me know this, too. They, they changed a few things a few days ago. So it's recent up to their latest update to their interface. So it will be available again. But when I when I put it back out there, probably either summer or fall, I don't want to keep it closed forever. But I also don't want to be constantly updating all of the lessons all the time. So, yeah, Feb 28th to March 31st is when it is available. Awesome. Um, and once you do have updates, are those updates going to be included for po folks who have signed yep. up for it? Or would they have to pay an upgrade free? Nope. If you buy it, you've got access for life. It's probably going to increase in price the second time it launches. Pretty sure I priced it way too low, which is good because I'm not changing the price for this launch. But everybody that I've talked to is like, that's way too little for this course. So if you buy it before March 31st, then you basically locked in. When new lessons are added, you get those for free. When things are updated to match the interface, all those things are, I don't want to charge people twice. So you just, if you get it now, it's kind of in your best interest. Absolutely. Give me an idea as to what it, it's going to launch for. Well, how much is it going to be launching for? So it'll launch for 147 bucks, but I like you. You have a good audience. I'll give you, I'm just making this up on the fly too. So I'm just going to make a note of this. Your <laughs> listeners can have uh, a discount Let's awesome. say let's say forty dollars if you use the code Tiffin Box. Wow, I did not and, I did not plan on this either. Wow, this is a cool I'll surprise, this, man. I just have Thanks. to remember to make this discount active after we get off the phone. <laughs> yeah, please do because once <laughs> it goes live, man, it is going to go live. Wow. Um, thank you so much, Paul. Really, I appreciate it. Uh, as I said, man, in the, in the introduction, your energy uh, in terms of helping other creative entrepreneurs is just incredible off the hook yeah I, i'd rather help people than sell to people so it's, just, it's in my best interest to just be like a nice helpful guy because i hate sales i would rather just be helpful yeah you go awesome <laughs> hey um i'm gonna have this uh go live very soon and my audience will figure out when to launch into the program and get into it and hopefully we'll be a part of it as I am a part of it as well. I've, I've paid for this course and I am a, a paying member of uh, Chimp Essentials. And I, you know, I, I think it's a great value and a great learning experience, especially if it's coming from you, Paul. Um, if there's anything else, uh, th th if any, there are any other questions, I should say, that my audience has for you, would you be open to answering them on my blog? Yeah, if people have questions, then yeah, yeah, if you just let me know what they are, awesome. then I can I can come up with some answers. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Take care. Cheers. Cheers, Thanks. man.